The gentleman from Arlington, Mr. Lopez. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, uh, point of personal privilege, sir. The gentleman has the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, this morning, I, uh, this afternoon, I wanted to talk about an issue that's incredibly important to uh, me and my family and, and the people of the 49th District. Um, in the 49th District, we have 108 languages spoken, 58 languages spoken in my local high school, Wakefield High School. Um, this session, the General Assembly, I think, had a, a great opportunity to pass uh, a bill called the Tuition Equity Act, or other people call it the Virginia Dream Act, that would have granted in-state tuition to immigrant youth who had been granted deferred action status by the federal government. Uh, these individuals were brought to the United States through no fault of their own and are now able to lawfully live and work here under the deferred action status granted by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Now, if you remember the college application process, um, you've got classes, you're applying to a bunch of schools, you're trying to get financial aid. These kids, they also avail themselves of the DACA process, which is an incredibly high bar. The legislation would have helped fulfill the basic American principles of fairness, equality, and opportunity, principles I think we can all agree upon. Doing the right thing for these young kids would have boosted, it would also boost America, or Virginia's economy over the long term. Despite this, I'm, I'm disappointed that we failed to act this session. Our economic future depends on educating all of the youth of Virginia. Over the next decade and for years to come, our economy will continue to require a more highly skilled workforce. For every individual that attends college and obtains a professional job, that means increased earnings resulting in higher taxes paid, more money spent, and investment back into the economy, and ultimately less reliance on the social safety net. By failing to act this session, I believe we are squandering the full potential of some of Virginia's most talented youth. Virginia already invests millions of dollars into the K-12 education of these kids. At least 16 states have figured out that it makes sense to grant in-state tuition to undocumented students. They include some pretty red states like Texas, Utah, Kansas, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. And I hope in the future we can embrace the new tolerance that the U.S. Congress uh, House Speaker John Boehner has advocated in urging uh, comprehensive immigration reform, including the opportunity for undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children through no choice of their own. He stated, one of the great founding principles of our country was that children would not be punished for the mistakes of their parents. I know that there are several areas in which members of this body disagree. But when it comes to education and providing opportunities for all of our youth to succeed, that is one area where this body should be able to find common ground. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.